Dear Aurelians, newcomers, volunteers and guests, good morning and hi to all of you who are listening us from near and far. Today is Monday, 10th of November and here in Orville it's mostly cloudy on 25 degrees Celsius and the weather forecast for today says cloudy most of the time with a shower or thunderstorm and at night we can expect patchy clouds with a shower. Temperatures between low 23 to high 31 with heat index on 39 degrees Celsius. Easterly winds at 9 km per hour with occasional gusts on 17 km per hour will change their direction at night to northeast winds at 7 km per hour with occasional gusts on 15 km per hour. Moon is when in Jibus illuminated on 87%. Another Monday and the peak in the calendar shows us that there is no important general meetings nor decision-making events this week, but however, Residence Assembly Service is inviting all of us to be part of the selection process for the seven new members, coordinators for the working committee, as well as the two replacement members for the already existing Oral Council. So we are invited to nominate ourselves or others to be part of the three-day selection process. All participants will be the selection committee to choose the needed members coordinators amongst themselves. And the deadline is today, 10 a.m. This morning, Kazan from Pavilion of Tibetan Culture and International Zone visited us in studio and shared some exciting news about today's and tomorrow's event in Pavilion Tibetan Culture, about the inauguration of an exhibition and a high visit of His Holiness Digun Kapken Chisan Ripunche, who is the 37th throne holder of the Digun Kagyu language and the seven incarnation of the Chitsang Rinpoche. He is a manifestation of generalizing Alavikiteshwara. Kazan, good morning. Good morning, Miriam. You are here in the name of the Pavilion of Tibetan Culture in the International Zone and today is kind of a special day for you guys, yeah? So yes. What's happening? Yeah, today it's, uh, it's, it will be a very beautiful moment. Uh, we are going to have um, His Holiness Kapkyun Tikung Chisang Rinpoche. He is one of the highest Ringanid monks in uh, Tibetan history. And um, he's going to visit Oroville for two days. And today at 5.30, in p.m. in the evening, he's going to also inaugurate an exhibition which is uh, research and work done by Klorabi mm -hmm. and a uh, Tibet uh, logist and Oravillian, uh, the man behind the Pavilion of Tibetan Culture. And the, uh, the exhibition is on the um, uh, India and Tibet ancient ties and current bonds. So let's see. We could some compare, yeah. But the inauguration is not the only thing he's going to share with us, right? Yes, he's, go he's going to inaugurate the exhibition and later he is going to share with us as he himself is um, very much involved in the environment, especially now at the moment in Ladakh, where it is the highest uh, and which is very, very, very important for all of us, where the, the main river and all this coming from Tibet through Ladakh and all. So, um, and then al also he has also um, so opened a college. En environmental issues. Yes, yes, yeah. very much, very strong. Yeah. So uh, we'll, uh, we will be also uh, going to have interactions with Orovillians who are uh, uh, doing environment, uh, in very strong environmental, environmental workshops uh, or uh, place working for Oroville through all these uh, mm -hmm. environment issues. So basically, in the Russian, you already invited the people who are dealing with the issues uh, in Oroville on the projects of sustainable and uh, environmental issues like zero waste management and so forth, yeah? Waste yes, yes. Management. So, so, um, so these guys are coming and they, they will have a, a conversation with uh, Rinpoche. Yes, it's, uh, we'll have, um, uh, I don't know how much time we have, but mm -hmm. there will be a question answer session also and then tomorrow also we will be uh, going to visit um, different uh, places in Oroville and one of the places is going to be